components. All right, I'm going to start the recording right now. All right, uh, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to ACA training. So today we're going to talk about how or I'm going to show you guys how to deal with Mandela's. Yeah, how do you want to work with uh, lines and so? Okay, so in here. Uh, when you open up a new document or uh, you can just you know create a brand new document doesn't matter what size it is uh, as uh, what you're seeing now mine is 1920 by 1050 but you can go for a4 size uh, if control n you can either go with a4 size or you can just work with 1920 times 1050 uh, pixels okay pixels yeah right so first and foremost in brush I've already uh, showcased to you guys brush is uh, is a tool where you can start painting as such I'm using a tablet so that my painting is a little bit more uh, sharper and hand uh, painted style yeah so the lines as you can see here it is much more uh, like a pencil yeah and so with a pen so depending how much of pressure that you put in but if you're using a mouse that means the lines are going to be super straight as so yeah so that is what the lines is going to be so if you want to get straight lines all you have to do is hold shift and tap once like so Oop. all right don't let go shift yeah and as you end you let go your mouse first and then let go your shift and then it becomes straight line you can do either horizontal or you can even hit once click once as the starting point hold shift and drag this line to create a straight vertical line so those are the key things that you want to go with lights and you can even use this like for instance one dot which where you're going to start yeah and hold shift and this time don't don't click anything on your mouse you just have to tap once at the end of any of the line whether it's going to be diagonal and so it is going to create this straight lines okay so this is the use case of using a brush yeah a brush is much more solid and much more uh, powerful in photoshop as uh, as opposed to the usage of pen so in pen tool if you were to get straight lines sorry yeah i'm going to hit ctrl t just to make it slightly smaller and drag it out free transformation ctrl t or command t yeah all right in here you can use a pen tool yeah so you drag down your mouse where my cursor is as you can see here there's a pen tool p is for pen tool now if you were to do a pen tool deal with tan tool you can tap once so it will create a straight line and then as you can move it will create a line that will eventually become as one selection right so this pan tool may not be as intuitive as um, illustrator okay so illustrator is much more solid but in our case here in uh, in photoshop the pen tool becomes like a mask or selection so you can create a shape or you can even create a path so if the path here once you have already created there's nothing can be seen in um, in the canvas yeah on the canvas so if you want to see the part that you have already created you go to parts under the layer window and you can see here there's a working part right you have to tap on this parts yeah then it becomes as a selection option so all you have to do is hold control or command and then tap on the um, thumbnail so that it becomes as a selection and this is where you can right click and you can change it to a shape or you can go back to brush tool right Oop. and you can right click Oop. sorry uh, go to selection tool right click or come in here new layer right click can't actually 
go to marquee selection sorry yeah you can right click you can fill this with the marquee selection yeah because it has turned it to a selection that's why you see this dotted line and then you can either fill this with any of this foreground and background colors that you have chosen in our case it will be black i'm going to hit ok so as you can see any colors that has been selected if it's green this is foreground yeah the other one the other box here is background yeah so you can right click you can even fill the color as such boom okay so that is one way of doing dealing with uh, the selection that you have created with pen tool you can also right click and then go to stroke right so this case here i've put in one pixel which means thickness of the line that is going to be one pixel thickness so if i hit ok now you if i hit ctrl d to unselect or to clear the selection now you can see the line is thin and nice okay so this will come handy when you are doing any form of uh, vehicle drawing any sharp lines that you want to have for outline characters and so on this will be useful to use the pen and so so it is not as as great as um, i wouldn't recommend pen tool in uh, photoshop much yeah because uh, pen tool in illustrator is much more solid and it's more vectorish okay so this is a little bit on brush and pen what is the use case of this tool yeah all right moving on if you were to do more with the brush i've already explained last time uh i think the third week if i'm not mistaken yeah one of our weeks here so i've already covered brushes so you can create your own brushes you all remember yes everybody remembers how to define brush you create your custom brush yeah. okay now man i will just uh recover i mean we explain this again so in your google you can look for any kind of silhouettes so for instance i can look for or you can look for rock yeah you can look for rock you can look for anything yeah so any form of rock or any images that you're seeing yeah say for instance this is a rock you can copy this copy image and i can come in here and paste this image drag this over make it slightly smaller by hitting ctrl t right if the image is very small or very big you can make it slightly smaller press ok before you get into any kind of selection of the brushes and so you want to make it a clean selection so come in here click on the selection smart selection here and then you hit on select subject let it calculate for you but once it has already selected the subject you can delete or control shift i for the shortcut and then delete any of other uh, you know any extra uh, pixels that is bleeding off this uh, subject matter control d or shift d to deselect it yeah and in this case whether you want to make this as the whole selection or depending what do you want to select so in our case we want to take this yeah the entire image and then you're going to go to brush or you can just leave in any selection you go to edit and then you can change it to define brush preset and this will calculate the uh, value yeah that is in the image by itself which will be turned into black and white yeah and then it will state it or it will calculate it and capture it as your brush so if you say okay i'm going to erase this Control d or command d now the brush has been created with any of this color let me just go into something greenish darker green now as you can just tap the brush becomes the rock okay 
so you can have multiple colors depending on uh, how much of the opacity is going to be so whether it's completely black or whether it's going to be completely transparent so in our case if you were to change this opacity to 50 so on your keyboard if you see your numbers on the keyboard if you hit uh sorry okay. so if you hit 10 it becomes a uh, one it becomes 10 percent opacity 22 is 20 20 percent opacity now you can tap it and then start creating the rocks and so make sense yeah it becomes a very beautiful texture brush and eventually can become a nice setup for your drawing and so right so same goes with any other silhouettes this is a recap yeah so if you are looking for trees tree bam so you look for any of these trees outside here try to go for clean trees as such yeah say this tree i'm going to copy this image i'm going to bring in here again create a new layer control v the selection is here now just select or go to q sorry q again uh go to selection right if you hover through w right select the areas or practically just go in and select subject Oop. right it is going to calculate and select this subject for you and you can control shift i to invert the selection because it is black and white as you can see here everything is white the white area is to be removed i'm just going to delete this control d to unselect it and then i go in and go to edit define brushes Oop. three bam a tree brush has been created control d again to unselect or deselect i'm going to hit a new layer and this time using a mouse i can start creating a tree line as such okay maybe about 80 percent and you can see the tree is created da -da 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 -da. now you can start creating the entire jungle or forest or even any kind of look and feel for the drawing that you want to make easy peasy yeah you can change any colors you can make it really dark All right now you can see it becomes like a jungle bam, bam, bam. so this is what you can do with define brushes okay so far clear yeah so this one i have already covered previously or you can do this with the brush preset again this is to recap what we have done previously and you can always shift to different brushes by still on the brush tool selected you can right click and change any brushes that you have right like for instance draw hard round, hard round or soft round depending if you're using tablet then you can see pressure you can reduce the size of it yeah and you can start painting or creating these three branches that will eventually make it look like as if there is a nice concept that you have created okay okay so this is one way of doing things yeah if you were to jump into a painting right okay moving on that is if you are painting painting what if if you were to do a mandala you all know what is a mandala yes no i'm gonna come in here i'm gonna hit on mandala art mandala art sorry it's not mandala mandala art yeah sorry for my pronunciation so if you were to create an art as such like how you see for 
you know different different cultures they have different different patterns you see on a shirt and so on all this mandala that you're creating it is kind of like cool so you can see all these nice patterns that was being created if you were to create this how would you want to do it so this is what we call as patterns mandala patterns because it is forming in a very symmetrical manner so if you were to do this you need to know how to draw correct so in our case if i come in here i make the draw size slightly smaller yeah as big as this if i'm going to draw this all the way you won't see any consistency right so this is difficult and so it is very tough and so on so it will be very distorted yeah in order for you to get this proper and nice or consistently or evenly distributed you need to have a symmetry so how do you get symmetry if you're on a brush tool you can see this tiny little butterfly here a butterfly is practically showcasing or representing this symmetry with the dotted line yeah if you come in here you can hold on this butterfly and you can see there are multiple options here for the mandala okay so either you want to have it in vertical or you want to have it as a mandala so if you say okay so here it will tell you how many symmetries you want let's go one by one so here if i'm going to hit vertical it is going to just create a simple line yeah you can drag and drop it wherever you want and say you just want to have you enter all right to create this line because symmetry is automatically on remember this is not going to be showcasing up yeah? you are just going to paint over as such all right so this will be a cool pattern uh, you know symmetrical option so you can create this kind of patterns and so in a very vertical uh, or vertically even two side uh, you know, symmetrical patterns for instance it can be also created with you know any kind of uh, big colors or you know, thick painting and so depending how you want to paint it you can even enlarge it with a bigger size brushes yeah maybe a bit of green here you can paint over and you can have all these other options by choosing different colors and so can see so this is a cool cool um, you know options that is can be created with the symmetrical line right so what you're looking at now is a form of creating let's say if you were to design your tattoo in the future or you want to have a pattern that will eventually be fitting as your logo then this will be a great option to look at okay so this is one let's say you want to create a different symmetry or if you want to off the symmetry if you don't want to see this blue line you can off the symmetry now it becomes a brand new artwork i'm going to come in here i'm going to make it slightly smaller drag it and drop it so you can see the difference now let's try with different patterns so in mandala it's normally mandala is about how you want to create a circular uh, you know form of art okay which normally in a use case like if you want to have like a wall painting or if you want to have it for a dream catcher and so on then you can use mandala uh, mandala's uh, you know artwork and so on okay you've got more you've got the horizontal what we did here was vertical you can combine this yeah you can place it wherever you want and press enter you can also start drawing in this manner and see depending how you want to mix those painting together whenever you want to have like a texture on top of a um, you know a sword painting and so on this will be useful 
enough to create these patterns rather than having it very uh, hand drawn for all angles and so on. Make sense? Hello? Yeah, so you can see here. Yeah? So this is what symmetrical um, and horizontal manner it's going to create. And after that, if you were to use different other dual axis perhaps, and this time around, you can make it slightly smaller and you can test out with different ways of doing the pattern. Say for instance, this is your pattern stating or representing as a sign or a motif of your logo, then you can do this. Now there are logo badges for your clubs and so if you want to have some sort of a pattern and so if you're working with NFTs you can create all this kind of art very abstract and if you are doing like you know different patterns you can play with you know squares you can play with uh, circular and so on and so forth make sense yeah so you create here one two one two we can start to paint over in four axes right so that is that more you can keep one here come in diagonally depending on where you are painting on all right so if let's say in this case you want to have it something like that you can go and create if you're drawing on a particular drawing say for instance you have you want to carve something yeah so let's see how you want to use this yeah? so I'm going to come in here I'm going to off the symmetry I'm going to off this and say you go and look for a knife yeah? um, knife bam a simple knife say for something like this okay so you want to create a particular pattern or maybe on this this will look nice okay cool so I'm going to copy this kind of image very empty you are given this kind of uh, you know objects to play with I'm going to drag this in make it slightly smaller scale it down uh, accordingly you're not allowed to change the colors and so but you can add some you know interesting carvings yeah how do you do that because this is quite straightforward you want to texture it but this is where you come in and you go for a brush and then you on the symmetry and this time you change the symmetry to elsewhere Oop. see that diagonally yeah you can make it slightly smaller by scaling it down and place it where you want to place it just rotate it approximately and say you want to have it somewhere here and press enter now you can pick any of this color dark colors and you can start to carve inside it right you can even write something some sort of a writing your own creation of your own fonts you can even write your name or you can even do a simple line and so and you can use it as a carving on this knife you can see yeah you can erase where it needs to be erased you can even come in here add some colors right to make it much more realistic if you off all these colors and so yeah you can paint fill in the colors use the mouse bring it closer just paint one side your life is this easier yeah come in here maybe you want to have a little red you can come in a little bit red okay any colors that you want to add on to make it much more interesting you can go whoop, whoop, whoop. Right, so give some motives and patterns, yeah. And now, if you are happy with this, you can go in, you can off the symmetry. And if you are doing it on a different layer, 
then this can be um, can be treated as a, a different blending option and eventually will start to drop in, in as a pattern. Okay, let's just look at how you can work with this. I'm going to paste again. I'm going to make it slightly smaller again and this time around I'll do it on vertical enter I'm going to off the previous one and this time I'm going to add a new layer okay I'm going to move this across All right so I'm going to go with B symmetry on on this bam vertical or you can go in and change this however you want okay diagonal or vertical either way right so you can paint over and create this kind of patterns and so okay and once you're happy with this you come in off blending option if you do a multiply or you can even have like an overlay or soft light depending what you intend to do you can double click on this layer and you can come in you can hit in a shadow right and choose that in a shadow and you can make a slight distance and you can increase the size and so on later to enhance those a look and feel all right you can even go for inner glow or outer glow all right on this case you can't see much why is because it is on a multiply um, blending option you can come in you can even reduce the opacity or increase it you can even have a brand new duplicate of this and this time around you can double click on it maybe not multiply I leave it as normal double click on it and create the inner shadow or outer shadow so this is drop shadow can you see All right you can see the drop shadow you can increase the size All right and the thickness you can see yeah the opacity if you want it to be strong you can have it stronger you can even have a little bit of glow yeah outer glow if you want to change the color to maybe a little bit of blue perhaps right make the opacity a bit more visible increase it you can spread it and create something like that okay so this is what you can do with this symmetry and it is very simple and straightforward yeah of course this is not perfect but this is something that you can think of okay so that is one use case of how you want to play with symmetries especially when you want to create this kind of patterns or well, if you were to create a mandala mandala so practically you can go in and try other you know other type of symmetries again okay start doing like for instance a flower petal let's see flower different type of flower maybe this time around the flower leaves or the plant leaf is something like that and you can start painting and so on and so forth to make it look good okay so if you want to have more of a thick stem then you can start adding in all these different components are quite more organic you can feel of a plant. You can see? Yeah? 
it is very symmetrical so this is curvatures if you drop down you can look for a circle a circular drawing patterns so this one you can start doing if you press enter and you can do the flowers as well like so if you have a different type of brush remember we created our own brush but this time around I can make this size a little bit more smaller or bigger right I come in here okay I can make it slightly more bigger by increasing the size or you can even come in here depending eh? I'm gonna increase the size and I can dab surrounding it. see that So hopefully this is helpful for you guys to create like a garland and so on. Okay. Can I? So this is one way of doing things. Yeah. And moving on, spiral. So if it's spiral, so you have a composition, you want to create this kind of spiral feel. Now you can have all those different you know, shape to this slowly building. And you can move on and on and on and on. Now you can see it will automatically read it as a spiral feel. Okay. So you can try all these uh, options for the uh, symmetrical um, you know, uh, tryouts or painting. You can now look into parallel lines as well. So if it's parallel lines, this is parallel lines. If you come closer, that once, see that? It is starting to showcase or paint in different different angles. All right. Let's look at radial then or mandela. Radial and mandela is pretty much the same. Radial is going to have, you know, how much of radial lines that you want to have the more lines that you have the more arrays that you have and press enter this time around you can create this artwork right in our case i can make it slightly smaller maybe a different pattern i can create start creating others Okay. So this is radial, and what about uh, different option? So let's look at different option, the mandala, and this time I want to have eight, eight counts. So what happens now? You press enter, and I'm just going to go back to my normal brush. Bam! I'm just going to come in here. And I just have to create once, Oops. right? Just focus on one particular line, yeah. And say you want to have a pattern as such. And see, we're going to create this beautiful artwork kind of artwork or you can look at different patterns yeah different thick lines and see change the brush size Creating all these mandalas. With a thicker line, thicker paint, simple patterns. And if you want to have like a, like a color in between, you can start coloring them.
¿Sí? Indians will use it when with column. Yeah, we all have seen col column. Yeah. Or you can see in any ancient civilization, they'll use this kind of artwork, especially when you go for a temple or you see any, um, say, for instance, if you go for uh, your, you know, any architect. Uh, buildings with heavy architecture that representing sacred uh, areas and so on they have this kind of artwork right you can come in here you can start coloring okay put the outline first slowly bring the coloring use this as your base like a coloring book now you can start coloring so increase the size this time around Maybe you want the center to be somewhere here. Different Rangoli colors. Yeah. Some purples. Some yellows. Right. Some greens again. Maybe this time you can have a little orange. Different, different colors. And you can get a nice. Can see? Right? So this depending on how you want to create like a graffiti, if you have like a drawing background, or you want to have like a wallpaper, and so if you were to create any photo montage of your artwork and so, you can come in here, create the Mandela as your background, you can make it slightly smaller. Right, holding on both of this, yeah. You can link it if you link it, so this two will follow. Uh, you just have to choose one of the layer. But so this two, anything that has this um, chain icon on the layer, that means these two layers are linked together. You just choose one of it and then hit Ctrl T or Command T. You can make it small, both will follow. And say this is your pattern for your background. Now you can come in. Create a brand new pattern, I mean layer, come in here depending how big your uh, canvas is going to be, you can create with a rectangular marquee selection, like so, and bam, got something like this, and you go ahead and hit any, whether you want to fill in some sort of a muted color, bam, like so. Now you get something like this. You can even change this to screen or soft light or overlay. You can even do a divide, a stop section, or something like that. Okay, play with the blending option. Make it very subtle. Yeah, maybe the colors is a bit too much. So you can play with all these colors and see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can dissolve it, you can have it as normal. If you don't like this color, control U, you can repaint it back again, no problem. Right? So change the color. Right? You can create something like a psychedelic color. Yeah. Change the hue hue is changing color. How do you want to get this? Is control U or command U, yeah? The dialog box for the Q and saturation will pop up, right? You can decrease or lighten it. Yeah. If you want colors, you can really saturate. Saturation is practically making it extremely bright in, in its color value or making it super dull with this desaturation option. Brightness is practically how bright you want it to be, super duper white spectrum, or you want to have it in a very dark tone manner. Okay, so up to you, see what is best suited. So in our case, maybe this would be best suited. And all you have to do is come in here, perhaps you can create 
some sort like a overlay or you can even double click on this on this particular layer you can have a color overlay you can change this color to something bright as such See that it changes the color or maybe something sub subtle like such yeah reduce the opacity yeah. and then you can even have like a glow outer glow yeah now choose this outer glow make sure it is highlighted and reduce the opacity yeah reduce this uh, spread increase the size or you can even make it very subtle and increase the spread so that it looks like as if you know like how uh, dr strange does his pattern and so you can do that yeah you can even do an emboss as you can see it is beveled and emboss you can see here book book you create like a 3d or uh, when you print it will be a little bit more uh, extruded outwards so you can use emboss come in here you can try any of this you can go for inner emboss in such manner then you can reduce the depth so that it's not too much or you can have it patented like this increase the size or decrease the size so it's not overwhelming you can soften it or you can reduce it you can even change the contour right see that the contour will give it a different the how the lighting is going to effect it yeah so you get other options here see that lighting effect is different you can try all these different contours the glossiness okay will give you different different result right play with it so imagine this is a card now you've got something moving on you can even hit textures if you want any textures you can look for any textures but i won't uh i won't recommend textures for now you can even have like a stroke or you can even have like a shadow a drop shadow see that so that it becomes like as if it is popping out yeah and you say okay now you've got something going on on your card right so in this card you can then work with like for instance if you're going to do hard raya card maybe this can be the background and you can go in and hit t yeah t or select text tap once selamat hari raya okay bam bring it close now this would be like a card greeting card for you okay drag this make it slightly more smaller all right drop it here place it wherever you want select the text double click on the text and change any font you can see here or you can go into your property change the fonts if you drop down this menu you've got options you can play with any of these options here whether you want to have it cursive or whether you want to have it very um, you know trendy and so on it depends you now which suits best you guys can do your own card okay so simple play with this and see how the whole thing works to create a simple you know artwork you can thicken it or you can increase the size and so on right if you reduce the size you can reduce the size you can type in whatever you want you can change color something really white bam and okay select it drop it where it needs to be dropped maybe you can hold alt and drag it down and double click on it again it creates a new layer or copy and change it 2023 20, a simple card that you can work with if you want to have more simple card with mandalas and so you can have another one more layer yeah bam if you look for gradient if you don't see a gradient you'll see a bucket if you still can't see this 
see these dotted lines here tool editor look for gradient scroll down look for gradient bam hit on this gradient and done normally the gradient tool will be here right go for gradient this time around you come in here tap on this gradient you can customize the color maybe if you want to have something different color you can tap on the bucket yeah on the bucket change the color maybe a bit of gold yeah maybe this is a bit opacity of zero the above bucket is or the slider bucket is uh, stating the opacity the bottom bucket or bottom box here on the slider saves the color say okay now you can do this hold shift drag and drop or tap on this first okay by holding control and tap on the box or the size of your canvas yeah if this is the border then select it choose this and go for another layer drag and drop kapush you've got something here and this time around you can play with soft light so control d and you've got a raya card Ta -da. okay if you want more you want to have like a border and it's very easy you create a selection like so right see where the rectangle selection is going to be right click fill oh sorry right click stroke increase the width size maybe to three change the color to dark color and say okay control d now you got a cut done all right so this is a particular uh, manner of doing cards and so in a very artistic uh, option you can go ahead and do more borders and so on if you want to yeah you can continuously add on and add on and add on you know you can explore on this you come in here go with the brush tool again on this see where you want the part to be yeah whether you want to have it uh, in in all axes or you want to have it in radial axis or dual axis whichever not you can start creating all this artwork okay so explore i want you guys to explore if you're going to hit here and say okay perhaps you can look at the borders right make it slightly smaller lighter and see how close is the border is going to be yeah i'm going to drag this or oh, old brush maybe use this on the symmetry yeah this will be like for instance if you want to have like some uh, you know any kind of patterns that is going to hold on like an arch i'm going to hit dual I'm going to come in here or with to the center drag it upwards scale it where it's supposed to be scaled if you want it at the bottom here just bring all this closer and drag and drop it so that it sits in the middle all right so hold alt and shift together now i can squeeze it all right see where it sits again yeah any border that is sitting oh done say enter and start doing the patterns let's see one two so this depends on your creativity okay Don't make it too complex, but this is sufficient for today. Simple. Okay. Now, symmetry off. Done. The card is done.
as easy as that. Be as creative, create your own style, create your own card. Yeah? How you want to have this card? I'm just showing you guys Lamar Hadraya for now because the festive is coming. You guys can create your own invitation cards, whether it's going to be for a function, whether it's going to be representing your club's uh, you know, name card or access card or whatever not. How you want to create, you can use these Mandela options as well. You can also do for paintings like what I've just shown. Yeah, from the reference Mandela art, as you can see, it can be an artwork by itself. Yeah, these are all uh, patterns that would, you would see on you know paintings as such. Yeah, for very abstract looking artwork, but it's going to be uh, you know representing a particular motif. Yeah, or something as so. You can even use it on a. This is a. Dream work. Okay, uh, dream catcher. Sorry. All right. So depending what kind of artwork that you want to work with, so all these patterns will come handy for it. Okay. So that's it, folks, for today. Hopefully this is helpful. Yeah. So you guys can have some fun with this. Try to create all this artwork. Hopefully, you know, next week we can see something out of it. All right, so uh, that's it, folks, for today, and enjoy. Oops, I have to stop.